We don't block, folks. Basically, uh, we're going to come back here in a second. But remember, light distance and then all you. So you're looking at the distance here. Remember what I was doing is coming in here and going ahead and coming back to uh, show you the February. I was thinking it was going to be the 25th of February or something like that or 26th. I can't remember what my old video was. So pop back in here. And I hope they didn't take it down, but I don't really think they did because in February of 2013, coming up, we've got these objects here. Now, on the 28th, I also noticed we've got this here, 054, but see how low these are, and I think it's going to be DA14 because that's all of a sudden just rhyming in my head when I said the number looked to the left, 2012. DA14, and that was on the 15th, I guess. So that might have been making me remind of the, of the. And we got two objects that day. One's a little farther out. When you see this close IU here, this is as close as you're going to have for Coon's age. Okay. And you can remember my video on that. I'll even do a calculation here real fast of it. I think I can open that up. But anyway, we'll check DA14 out. And let's go look at this. What I was interested in here. I want to thank. Uh, I think it's Chug. He ended up noticing that there was a 6.1 or something in Manitoba. Watch his video on that. Thank Chug for that. And then, uh, oh, and then I want to go ahead and hang on. What I want to do here is look at all the earthquakes in uh, stateside here. Uh, a lot of people, and then the, the sprawl that we're having down through here is in uh, New Madrid area, even up high. So, and you got a very much of a triangulation there. So, uh, you can go in there and click on these and see we've got 2.6 magnitude. And we've also got the low area in Cali and, you know, Baja and stuff like that. We've been seeing that stuff for ages down there. Uh, this should show if I come out to the ocean. It's not really showing the Dominican Republic and stuff like that lately. So you got to really look around for your earthquake information, folks. So there's that there address there. And then we'll go ahead and go to uh, RSOE. Here's RS RSOE. Then we'll go down and we'll check out uh, Volcano and... Volcano eruption in Indonesia. Volcano activity on the 17th in the Philippines. And then here we go through the earthquakes here. This is recent, up to date here. And then the volcano activity. Indonesia today. There's all your volcanoes in red, lots of them. And then the closer moving objects in space. Then we'll go back to uh, also the other thing. And I wanted to just show the idea that on just looking at RSO E. Got a real fast moving that, and also we have a huge uh, one of the larger elements out there in space that's going to be coming through at a very fast speed. And that is that 32.39 kilometers a second. That's fast, that's hauling ass. Now, what I'll be able to do here is the size. We've got some big stuff coming around. 1.8 kilometers, 1.4 kilometers. I even believe that I saw something a little bit longer. Was that it? 2.9 kilometers. Okay. And it's hauling ass. Okay. So we want to look at. This one here also. Um, so the fourth of this year, 
October. And now let's go ahead and check out the... So like I said, it's going to be hauling ass. It's going to be going 73,595 miles an hour. Okay. And also the actual factual that it's that large. Okay. And let's go back to the size. Because it's 1.3 kilometers to 2.9 kilometers. Okay. So an odd shaped object very large and very flippin' fast. Okay, and I think I've got it here at this one. There it is. Now they have it at condition zero. Okay, so that means it's supposed to be, and it should. But it's big, so it's going to be magnetical, and we're going to get some wind. So you'll have a lot of wind that day. And I'm wondering what we've had come by because uh, Alaska had like 100 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour wind or something like that too. Okay, so let's go to the one that uh, I'm pretty sure I made the video on this one before because I got it at condition four. It's a concern. The number one thing is when you look at the plot, there's Earth. And if I think if I remember how to play with these, you'll see that we're going to be pretty doggone. That's just right now, okay? So we'll hit play and we'll get up to. And there we go, and then we should be into February, and that's what we're wondering about. Okay, so we'll back it up. I think I'll be able to freeze it there. DA 14, 2012 DA 14. We'll get back into, I think this will freeze when I get into February. And there we go, and then we just need to go a couple days. And as you see, we get the IU gets way down. You see, minus. So you don't see numbers like that. Okay, you've never seen numbers like that before. Now I did think that I do think I don't have time to go back and look at my videos. I made so many videos, but it's just you want to get the information out there. Okay. So and that's on the 16th. February 16th there and they keep this pretty much they keep putting the data in there because they look at the same they use the same software when they're computing it out so anyway the big one's gonna be windy and that was this one here okay DA 14 gotta remember that's February next year okay and then Oh, this one here is recent. And like I say, it's going to be hauling ass. And let's go check out, see what we got fresh on earthquakes. And we got the one we really love the French Canadian conglomerate of. And check out all the holograms, dark black light. And I remember how the scientists keep on arguing about black light lately. And there's all that action again. And that's a fresh shot. Okay. That is a fresh shot. As you see down here, it has the time stamped right on it. Okay. Giving you a fresh shot. It starts shooting at nighttime and it refreshes every 60 seconds. Okay. So now we got that action that we have, I've glued you in on a long time ago. And now we'll go check out, see what we've got in movies and anything recently. I remember on the close approach data, this bugger is a DA-14. That's what we're really wondering about. And then, but pay attention to all the closeness of all the other close approach stuff. And see your date here? All this stuff at the beginning of the year. It's real close and even towards the end of the... This is where the heavy magnetism is coming around on the other side of the sun, too. He's scared to find out there's a humongous magnet out there and all of a sudden it's quammo. Something goes somewhere that it's not supposed to. On October 22nd, you got that there, CT1. Well, I'll go see what's going on on that too here. We'll take a look at that. Now, it's one below the high. So, the condition 8 is, you know, that's funky monkey, man. Funky monkey. Yeah. 
And I'm going to check out this IU here. So here's our computation on that. 288,070 miles. Equilateral radius, 73% of the equilateral radius of the Earth. 0 0.33 mean diameter of the Sun. No, 73 times the equilateral radius of Earth. Sorry, folks. 463,600 kilometers for our European friends. All right, so now... To remember, it's October 22nd for that one. And it's moving at 15.82 kilometers a second. So with it being 288,070, so basically 288,070 miles, uh, it's going to miss the moon. But what are the artifacts that we also have close to Earth? There's a lot of stuff out there that follows the moon around. we got a lot of little remnants out there. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what smacks into what. See what kind of show we get. So, and like I say... There is basically the Earth or the Moon, and then that's our distance in that mileage. You could figure this as being the Earth or the Moon. It doesn't really matter there on the chart. And then it's the mileage there, the 227. Okay, so then we're going to find October 22nd. And then we think we already got it there. Zip by it. There we go. So, as you can see, when we're talking about that other one that's going to be in February, it's much closer looking. And it's got that distance IU there, so we'll just keep clicking ahead. And we're going down, so we're going to get closer. So, evidently, we might be getting a lot closer. Yep. So, basically, a new calculations is on December 6th. Okay. So, and then also when it passes around, too, going away. And then I think we just had, so January 12th. So, and that was pretty good view right there at that angle. So, and you remember, you can move these around like this. And also down here, I believe, yep, I can truncate. And basically, that's the sun there in the middle, in the well. There's Earth. And that's a good way to look at it to see where what's farther away from the sun. So, Earth is Mercury is close as Venus, and Mars is the next besides us. All right. So now, so what I'm going to do is start smelling and seeing if uh, any of this stuff on the Mars rover smells like it's actually there, and we're getting our tax dollars correctly spent. So there's one shot. Mm, sorry about the advertisement, but there's further seen my Mars rover opportunity. And our curiosity's up there now. And there's opportunities shot from back in 2011. So where's our shots of the moon, NASA? Bino wants to know. So I can flap my chops about what the truth is. Here's an interesting shot from Opportunity. Now that's the older one of a rock up on Mars. Now what about the uh, moon stuff? Because they've just remember the two satellites that magnetized together and we caught them uh, getting picture taken on Soho. This is an up close colored shot of it course color impregnated down here on earth through computers where's those moon rocks at someone stole them all 
And then there's a couple up for auction. Careful what you buy.